So today's video is going to be a review and swatch video of the new Kylie Royal Peach Palette. So this is what the Royal Peach Palette looks like. I was not expecting it to just say Kylie on it, but I think it is cute and it's real gold and shiny so it's throwing off the lighting on my camera like crazy. The back here has all of the shade names and how it's laid out. And then when you open up the palette, there is a mirror in this palette, which I know that there were a lot of complaints with the, what are the other palettes? I don't know. I know that they did not have a mirror. They just had her name or something like that. But this one does have a mirror and her name in it, of course, because it has to have her name in it. And then the shades look like this. Now there is a spot for the brush that it comes with, which looks like this. Something I discovered <laughs> during the swatches of this, I dropped it and all of the shades just like fell out. So this is a magnetic palette. The shades do pop out individually if you happen to want to just pop out some and stick it in a Z palette or something. However, the back of these do not have the shade names on them. It's really hard to get out because it is a really tight fit and I was not expecting it to be magnetized at all, until I dropped it and they went all over the place and I was like <gasps> because it's my sister's palette not mine but they do pop out as little individual eyeshadows similar to like Makeup Geek size but like I said there are no shade names on the back for the palette itself I know there is controversy about how it smells like paint thinner it absolutely does and it's very strong when you first get it it's not as strong now like my sister brought it over and I smelled it and I was like oh my gosh that is obnoxiously strong. It doesn't smell quite as strong now. Since these shades pop out, that's something I did when they popped out. I smelled the shades individually. They do not smell like paint thinner. It is the palette itself. I'm assuming it's some kind of glue she used or something. I know that the other palettes do not smell like it, so I don't know like what she did differently with this one. Maybe it has something to do with like the magnetized something or another. I don't know, but the shades themselves do not smell like paint so if you want to pop these out add the shade names on the back put them in a Z palette paint will be gone so that's something that I need to say because I know that there was a huge controversy so I'm happy that I noticed and dropped it as terrifying as it was because now I know it's not the shades themselves overall the palette itself is cardboard however it feels super sturdy and it's magnetized so you don't need to worry about it popping open. I don't know how to describe it, but it feels really nice, honestly, even though it is cardboard. Very sturdy feeling. As for the shades, they are beautiful. Five mattes in here. I would say that there are probably about three or four that are just kind of a shimmery, and then the rest of them are very chunky glittery. So I'm going to go through and swatch each of them on my hand, but I also have like an entire swatch on my arm cutaway that'll happen. So let's go through the shades. The very first shade in here is Sorbet. This color is a really pretty transition shade. It's what I have as my transition shade today. It is super peachy. I'm just going to swatch on the back of my hand here. Super peachy but really soft. So it's a beautiful transition shade. It reminds me a lot of Peach Smoothie. If you watched my video of me applying these, which went up last time, um, then you will have seen my comparison with Peach Smoothie. I don't have the shade with me right now, but it is very similar. This is a little darker and more orange. Next shade in here is called Seashell. It is a really pretty, like, shimmery pink color. I don't want to say shimmery. It's just kind of a satin. It's a really, really pretty pink color here. Very shiny without being chunky. Next shade in here is Peachy. Of course, it is a peachy color. It is very, very pigmented and beautiful. I love this color. I added this in my crease a little bit just to make everything a little bit more pink. So it is very beautiful. Then the next color in here is Royal. It is a beautiful royal blue color. I heard some issues with people saying that this is not pigmented, but the one that my sister got is super pigmented. This is so vibrant, such a gorgeous royal blue, and it swatches 
just as beautiful, just as pigmented. It is stunning. I have this on underneath on my lower lash line as a pop of blue. It applied a little less pigmented when I first put it on, but the second layer was just like the bright blue. I never would have thought that it would go with these colors, but there's something about it that just works. Next color is Queen B. This is a really <sighs> yellowish brown gold color. It's definitely more bronzy of a gold color, but I think it's beautiful. It does have a little bit more chunkiness to it than Seashell did, but this one is not nearly as chunky as one of the other shades in here that we'll get to. And the last shade in the top row is called Duke. This shade is more like Seashell where it's not really chunky like at all. And it's super pigmented and beautiful. Pinkish color, I don't even know. Like it's got the peachiness in it. Red toned, I don't know how to describe it. It's really pretty though. On to the next row. This is the chunkiest shadow in here. It's called Duchess. It's just super chunky, and when you swatch it, maybe, you can see, definitely can't. This is a really pretty shade. It kind of reminds me of Fireball by Makeup Geek. Maybe it's Fireball, maybe it's not. It's really pretty, but like I said, there is a lot of chunkiness to this shade. So I don't know if you can see on the top part here. But like there were a bunch of chunks and then I blew it away and now there's a spot missing. So like you're going to get a lot of fallout with this shade. Next shade in here is the color Sandy. This is a very pretty mid-tone brown color. But this is what I used in my crease today. It's just a really pretty peachy brown. Next color I know had a ton of controversy. This is the green color in here and it is called Mojito. Everyone was saying that there's no pigment whatsoever with this color, but I swatch it. I see plenty of pigment in it. I don't know what I don't know what's going on. I think it's beautiful. Super pigmented. It's just a beautiful goldish green color. I think it's stunning. And like I said, I don't know what happened because everyone is saying it's literally just straight up glitter with no pigment. You just saw the swatch. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. There might just be some inconsistencies with these palettes. I don't know. But I, the one I got is beautiful. The next shade in here is North Star. If you saw my video of me demoing it, first impression on my eyes, then you saw what I did. But this is a super gorgeous purple shade. It is stunning. There is quite a lot of kick up, kick back when you swatch it. Brush picked it up beautifully with a little bit of kick back. Next shade in here is called Crush. It's another peachy color. It's very, very similar to the shade Peachy. However, there is like a very teeny tiny bit of shimmer in this. And it doesn't swatch as beautifully. It's a little bit drier than peachy. And then the very last shade in this palette is called Cinnamon. It's a beautiful reddish tone brown, quite a bit deeper than Sandy. It is beautiful. It's super pigmented. Like, all of these shades are so pigmented, and I don't know about the controversy. Like, everyone is saying that none of these shades are pigmented, but you just saw the swatches for yourself. I think that they're gorgeous. Those are the swatches of this palette. I want to talk about the brush a little bit. This brush kind of reminds me of the MAC 217 brush. Obviously the shape of this is super useful in the crease. This is what comes with the palette. So for $42 you get the colors and this brush. And I'm so happy it's not double-ended. I hate double-ended brushes. I think that this brush seems really nice. However, my sister said that the bristles are kind of falling out on her without it. She hasn't even used it yet and she's had some like fallout. So I don't know, nothing's coming out as I'm like messing with it right now. A little more coarse, but very similar to the bristles of the 217. If you felt that, it's a little more coarse, but it is not too coarse, if that makes sense. I think it's gorgeous. I am not a supporter of Kylie Cosmetics. This is the first Kylie Cosmetics item I have used. This is my very first impression of Kylie Cosmetics, and based on this palette, 
I'm interested. I'm definitely intrigued. I think this is beautiful and you saw if you watched my last video everything blended and applied so beautifully. I think that these are very comparable to Makeup Geek shadows and Makeup Geek shadows are $6 a pan whereas these are, this retails for $42 and there are 12 shades. So that brings it to $3.50 a pan compared to $6 for Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek, you can get pretty much any shade at any time. This one, I think this dropped and sold out within 5 minutes and somehow my aunt managed to get two of them, which is why I'm doing a giveaway with her currently. You guys probably know all about that because that was the very first video up with this little series of the Kylie Jenner palette that I'm doing. Sorry if you're tired of hearing of this palette. I just wanted to make sure to get the videos out. I wanted you guys to see my review of it. I wanted to try this out before I backed up doing the giveaway. We're going to be filming the video for that later tonight, so I will have a first impression of this. And honestly, I'm super psyched that you guys are able to win this thanks to my aunt, so thank you Gina for getting your hands on this. This is such a gorgeous palette and I'm jealous that my sister has one and I don't. Overall, do I recommend this palette? Absolutely, if you can get your hands on it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. And in the meantime, make sure to spread some positivity. Bye!